You guys are never gonna believe what I forgot. I forgot a towel. Today is day one. The shower consisted of extremely lukewarm bath water. This dude is getting a one star rating. So I go to sleep last night and the time difference here is Connecticut is nine hours behind what I am right now. So it's about 7.30 right now, which means in Connecticut, midnight, 11 o'clock. So I tried to sleep last night and that didn't really happen. So then I wake up this morning, go to take a shower, realize I don't have a towel or fucking shower shampoo. So I had to use somebody else's. Fucking TSA doesn't let you bring it. The plans today are to go to a park about 45 minutes from here. It's a national park that has a lot of Roman ruins there from when the Romans were here. After that, I'm planning to go to Haifa, which is a neighboring city. There are the hanging gardens of Haifa. After that, I don't know, I might go north, northeast into some other cool stuff. I'm not exactly sure. We'll see, we'll see what happens. I have absolutely no idea how to get there. So when I looked up the weather, it said it was 75 and sunny, and it's more like ball shriveling cold. I don't really know what's gonna happen with that. Might have to pick up some pants and a coat. All right, so Google Maps says I need the bus number 40. And this bus stop, it has a number 40 on there also. You kind of just have to wing it. GPS says it takes off at 8.14, which is in about 25 minutes. Hopefully, I have enough time to go get breakfast and I'm at the right stop. Nobody believes me, so I have to record this. So you were here in Tel Aviv and there were no riots no. Wednesday because of truck. No. Nothing happened. No. Everybody told me, don't go, don't go, it's not safe. I'm uh, from Jerusalem. You're from Jerusalem? Yeah. Okay. And no riots? No. Okay. <laughs> All right. So I have to prove to people. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Have a good day. <laughs> so something incredibly fucking annoying just happened. I'm at the bus stop and the bus that was marked number 40 that I needed just drove straight by and didn't stop. But Google Maps says there's another one at in five minutes. God damn it, that's fucking annoying. Station and then 13 stops. Is there a train from that station? There is, uh, maybe you can take a taxi from uh, this. Is that a train station, there's, Israeli there's station? A train station, yeah. There's a train station that gets to Kisaria. Okay. But the National Park is pretty far away. I'm seeing a lot of youngerish looking people walking around in military dressing. Some of them even have rifles. A weird thing to see. Hey, my man, just curious. So in Israel, is it mandatory military service for everybody? Yeah, once you get uh, 20 years old, you must uh, get Oh, so 20 years old? And uh, until 21. Until 21, so just for one year? No, since you're 18. Uh, oh, since you, so when you turn 18? Yeah. Until when? 20, 21? 21. Does it suck? Uh, it gets <laughs> it. It sucks? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to Kasaria. Yeah. National Park? Kasaria? Yeah. Really? New York. Uh, have you ever gone? Uh, no, but uh, I would like to. Yeah? Yeah, maybe after the army. After the army, alright. Okay, Saudi Arabia. Yeah, but there's a lot of people who are going to be able to do that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. So this is normal? Every, everybody uh, is in the military? Yeah. Right? All these? Yeah. <laughs> this is all military, right? <laughs> oh, you too? Yeah. Huh. This is actually pretty neat. I'm kind of surprised that there's uh, there's nobody here right now. That's a little weird. We're not nobody's here, but there's so few people here. I would have expected a lot more. I'm not sure how I feel about this. I can see from all these buckets of plaster, you can tell that they're remodeling all of this. I feel like it would be cool just to see it and that once they fix it up, that kind of takes it aw takes away from it. It's a cool place, I like this. The Romans built all of this. Maybe I'm comparing this to the wrong things, but when I think of Rome, Paris, London monuments, anything else in any other major cities, this compared to any of those places, there is no one here. Look around. Okay, there's a tour over there. And then a few scattered people around. That's it. It's bizarre. All right, this is really, really neat. So basically, I'm gonna explain what this says. 
This is a story in the Bible about the Apostle Paul in the year 58 AD, where he was accused by the government of inciting a riot. Because he was a Roman citizen, he was given the opportunity to be heard in a Roman court. And that Roman court is right here where I'm standing on. And so I hate religion, I hate Christianity, but I still think the story of the Bible is pretty cool. So he was arrested and executed for inciting a riot. I think uh, I would have been executed for that quite a number of times. So as this guy is demonstrating behind me, there is a point in these Roman amphitheaters where directly in the center, where your voice will be projected perfectly to all parts of it. And then if you take a step to the left, to the right, in front or back, it doesn't project your voice perfectly. That's really annoying, but he walked away as soon as I walked over here. Kind of weird to hear, to hear an old Chinese guy singing opera, but that dude killed it. The sun just came out, and goddamn is it hot. Holy shit. So overall, this was a pretty neat experience. I love the ancient Roman ruins. There's stands over here, and then it's in a horseshoe shape behind me is because this is a chariot racing circuit. Another form of entertainment for the plebeians. We got that falafel. Where is that from? I'm from America. Yeah, no, where is America? <laughs> I knew that was coming. <laughs> Everybody wants to know where I'm from. I'm from New York. Yeah, where are you? New York City. I love my family there. Oh, you got family there? Yeah, nice. in Brooklyn. Oh, in Brooklyn? Yeah. yeah, cool, cool, cool. So I just finished up Casaria National Park and I'm about to leave here and go further north and then go into a city called Haifa. Haifa is also a very uh, big city, very popular place to go to and that's where the hanging gardens are. So I'm attempting to take a bus back to the train station from this park so I don't have to pay another 17 or 18 dollars for using a cab. Google Maps says it'll be here in five minutes so I guess we'll see in five minutes. The bus is here and it didn't drive by me like last time. Uh, Casario? The train station? This don't look like a normal city bus. This went surprisingly well. Showed up exactly as Google Maps said it was gonna. Motherfucker didn't drive by me. Let's take that. 20 shekel. Six dollars, fifty cents, something like that. So I kind of expected to see a lot of cops, and I'm not which strikes me as odd, but then I just noticed the security guard over here, he doesn't really look like a cop, but he is carrying a gun. So I made new friends. This yeah. is Kuhn. Yeah, Kuhn. <laughs> this is Yael. Hi. And uh, they're from the Netherlands. And so they're staying in Tel Aviv as well, right guys? Yes. Yeah. And then also traveling around just to see the different things. Now we are going to, going to the Hanging Gardens, which is up there. Still making our way, take two. <laughs> Have you been doing this from the start of your trip? Yes, from the entire trip I've been vlogging just like this. From the get-go. Walking get -go. by yourself and Yes, you're and you should see really what people look at me. Yes, I'm walking like this down the street with nobody around me talking to my camera and then you should see how other people look at me. <laughs> this is the Hanging Gardens, isn't it beautiful? <laughs> Did you get your shot, Kuhn? Almost. <laughs> this is about as much as you could do here. <laughs> this isn't kosher. No, 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 no. no. Kuhn goes, all right, I don't want any tomato sauce. I don't want any cheese. I just want the dough with salami. And that's it. <laughs> Everybody is always so nice to us. This guy just gave us coffee. The alarm went off and I was I mean, it's like when you're used to it, but in Holland, everything is so safe. Free so. coffee because nice people. Yeah, well, it's okay. it's another, another 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 <laughs> nobody's ever gonna believe me about this. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> back home in the Netherlands, you don't have malls, right? Yeah. You don't have big malls. No. So not like you do in America. So. And I told her about. Well, obviously, everybody knows we have big malls, but you've never seen an American Walmart, have no. you? No. <laughs> He's laughing really hard. <laughs> An American Walmart. <laughs> What's that? 
via Ben Gurion Airport. So Kuhn is apparently a photographer of trains, right? And so he ran all the way over to the other platform, and there he is. And now, because of that, we're missing the first train to Tel Aviv, right? Yeah, but it's okay. <laughs> Despite the fact that my camera battery has now died, I obviously still have a phone. And so we are on the train almost back to Tel Aviv. So public transportation is surprisingly easy to navigate. In Greece, it was like impossible. This isn't going so bad. I need a selfie stick, don't I? So I can hold my phone all the way out here. Oh, so embarrassing. Yeah. <laughs> you look like an idiot with a selfie stick, don't you? <laughs> yeah. I made it on the bus, so I'm back to where I'm staying in Tel Aviv. We'll see what happens. Oh man, this bus is so crowded. Pretty uneventful trip using uh, public transportation today. I made it all the way back here without missing any stops, without getting on the wrong trains. Uh, getting on the wrong buses, anything like that. So that's pretty, uh, pretty impressive, if you ask me.